What's up, man? I figured I want to show this to you real quick here. All right, this is a comparison between green would be factory recommended, ZB318. You got a box size of eight cubic feet, two to 32, which is exactly what Sundown recommends. They recommend four cubic feet ported, and they recommend a tuning of 32, 64 square inches of port area. So that's what we have in the green. We have eight cubic feet, tuned to 32 because there's two drivers. Um, and we're gonna go over here just to show you those two drivers. The vents, we have a 16 by eight vent. Uh, the vent length has to be 32 inches long, but it gives you 128, which is 64 times two. The signal we have here is 3,000 watts, which is 1,500 apiece. Sundown is very, very conservative here. Um, this is the rear air velocity. So this is your port velocity here. Um, you want to try to get as close to 17 meters per second as you can. They peak at about uh, 20 meters per second at like 27 hertz. So, <clears throat> but yeah, um, they change this over here to uh, cone excursion. The cone excursion, the red line indicates um, that's the X max line. Um, it is 32 millimeters, it's in inches over here. I don't know if I can change this to millimeters. Um, I don't know if it'll let me, yeah, okay. So there's millimeters, all right. So I don't know why it didn't change, but anyways, it's, it, that's millimeters right there, it's 32 millimeters. So you can see that they have no chance in hell of ever hitting Mac excursion on these subs from the factory in the proper proper box. You can play all the way down to 20 hertz, no problem. But, you know, up here in the frequency range where most of your music is, the subs are barely even moving. Um, so, you know, um, other than that, um, the transfer function magnitude, <clears throat> you can see the curve of the box. Um, you get a little bit of gain through here but it's got a nice roll off. Um, the actual SPL curve is pretty flat. Um, you know, it tapers off real slow. Now, here's where things get interesting. Let me go back down to uh, the port velocity. So this is the box that I have right now. It is nine cubic feet. Um, the vent length, two eight inch ports at 12 inches when I'm metering, puts me at about 41 hertz, let's call it. And that gives me, um, on the SPL, it gives me a peak right around, you watch the numbers up here, these up and down, right around 48 is where it tops out at, 944, and it starts going back down right there. So 48 hertz is where I meter at too. So, but my port velocity, is way off the chart, um, like 50 like fifty meters per second, which is way, way off the chart. So I do not have enough port area. I have way too much port velocity, which equates to port compression, which equates to over excursion of the sub. Um, you know, I'd have a lot less excursion. When ISD doesn't really show excursion change when you change the port velocity, it just it just assumes when you go down to a cone excursion that you have enough port area for some reason. But either way you look at it, you know, even if I left my tuning where it is, I wouldn't be in danger of hurting these subs, you know, until I get over here, you know, down in like the 28 hertz range. And that's based upon a signal power of 7,500 watts. Um, that's about half, I figure, after box rise. If I'm seeing, if I'm clamping 7,500, then that's where I'm at. And these do change when you change your power. So, um, you know, uh, transfer function magnitude again, I see a pretty decent gain right around there in that 48 hertz range. So, you know, SBL wise, um, you can see it's a lot higher than the stock box, the factory recommended box specs. I get a huge gain right through there, but I get a more of a roll off. Now, lastly, I went 14 cubic feet and I went with two 12 inch ports, um, same power, 7,500 watts, 
Now you can see a big difference in SBL right here. Um, we're talking um, a difference of well, 39.8, about 3 dBs almost, you know. So I mean, it's showing, it's it's telling me a 3 dB gain. So even if I get a quarter of that, it's going to be gain. Um, cone excursion, the red line down here would be that box, 14 cubic feet. I do see some excessive cone excursion once you get to that 30 hertz range, um, but that's with that tuning. You know, if I extend those ports instead of 13 inches, if I tune my box down to like 30, I'd have to have 40 inch vents, which isn't really feasible. So let's see if I can get a tuning of about 35 maybe. Um, yeah, so like 26 inch vents, I'm sure I could probably fit 26 inch vents inside a 14 cubic foot box. That puts my cone excursion down around 27. So I could play down to 27 safely. Um, you know, uh, it changes the SBL curve dramatically. I would peak somewhere down in the 30s and I would be louder across the board. My current box is the yellow line so I would gain gobs of, of output um, down in that 30 to 40 hertz range. It would be several dBs louder for, for demos down low. Um, you know, I would actually lose a little bit above 50 hertz but who cares? It's demo. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you this to sh so you can see, um, you know, let me just check that transfer function. Yeah, you can see the transfer function magnitude, it puts the peak a lot lower when I tune it lower. If I could get long enough ports to actually tune this down into the 20 hertz, uh, the 28 hertz, if I could tune it to 28, the curve looks phenomenal. It's almost flat on the transfer function magnitude. Um, the SBL curve is really, really, really flat. I mean, it's flat down to, you know, mid-20s, and we're talking massive gains, but the port length would have to be 46 inches, and I don't really know if I can get 46 inches of length um, out of two 12-inch ports, but my port velocity would be down towards the factory spec. So, anyways, I don't want to make this too long, because I know you got shit to do, but I did want to... Uh, show you the difference between um, giving these bo giving these subs a large box 14 cubic feet as opposed to the factory recommended 8 cubic feet